Grandma and Aaron watch the moon men stepping slow across the screen. Their silver boots left tiny prints where no soft wind had ever been. That can't be real, said Grandma. You can't breathe, the moon has no air. And rocket must push through Earth's thick sky before they even get up there. Aaron frowned and softly asked, So what exactly fills our sky? Why does the air stay close to Earth and never drift straight by? What makes it safe for us to breathe while space is silent, cold and wide? And how did all those gases learn to mix and stay inside? That night he dreamed of the beginning, of the universe that was long ago. When the clouds of dust spread rapidly and the large fireball began to glow, two tiny specks came together. Both of them made the star shine bright, while hydrogen lit them with fire, helium kept them ever light. The earth was born from thick ingredients, her air too heavy and dark to keep. A swirling soup of carbon clouds that started to build and rumble loud and deep. But then the first plant reached for the sun and stirred with gentle might. It used the sunlight's golden spoon to cook the recipe balanced right. The plant's leaf began photosynthesis, the art of cooking air and light. It mixed the gases carefully till the fresh air flavor came out right. Not too thick and not too thin, the world could finally live and grow. As ferns uncurled and forests breathed in harmony below. When morning came, Aaron smiled, the dream still dancing in his chest. He breathed the same soft air again and felt grateful calm and blessed. The plants made all this oxygen, the best gift that they could give. An earth soft blanket keeps it here, which is our home where we can live. Wow, imagine that. Every breath we take is a gift from plants. They made the oxygen we need and the earth's blanket of air keeps it safe around us. From tiny moss to giant trees, everything on earth works together to keep life alive. Next time you're outside, take a deep breath and look around. Which plant do you think is the most amazing? A tiny fern, a big old tree or the grass beneath your feet? Ask your parents or grown-ups to send me a message and tell me which one you choose. I'd love to know what your favorite plant is. And if you'd like to keep exploring, dreaming and learning with me, don't forget to like and subscribe so you'll never miss another adventure.